This is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom and today I'll be showing you how to make the Upsy Daisy Twisty Wisty Bracelet. This is an intermediate level bracelet. To make this bracelet you will need 12 black rubber bands, 20 red rubber bands, 18 white rubber bands, and a C-clip. It's a good idea to have these items ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Start by placing your loom with the red arrow pointing away from you. The first band we'll place will stretch from these two exterior pins, like this, and we will form a triangle. We'll move up to the second exterior pins. Using those pins, we will form a diamond shape. And we'll continue moving up the loom, forming a diamond shape using four pins. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. Now, we stop here, and on this last section, we are going to place a rubber band around these three pins to form a triangle. We will not use any of the last three pins on the loom. Now we go back to the beginning of the loom. We'll start from the center pin, and we place a red rubber band going from the center pin to this first pin on the left side. Then we start from the center pin and place a red rubber band going to the right side. Now we'll be placing three white bands across the loom here. One, two, and three. We'll do that same sequence again, but we'll be using red rubber bands. We'll place those over the white to the next pin. One, two, three. We'll continue alternating this pattern to the end of the loom. We'll fast forward until we reach the end. Now this last section we'll place the bands a little differently. Instead of placing it straight forward, we'll grab that band and stretch it to the center. Then we'll go to this side and we'll place that band to the center. And this last band we'll place from this pin to that one. On this last pin we'll place the cap band. We make a cap band by grabbing a red rubber band, putting two fingers on each side through that rubber band, twisting it into a figure eight and folding it back upon itself. We'll place that on the end, that last pin right there. Do not push the bands down on the pins. You'll need the layers to be separated as you loop the bands. We finished placing all the bands and now we're ready to start looping. Turn your loom around. The red arrow will be pointing toward you. All of these steps must be followed closely, otherwise when you go to pull the rubber bands off the loom, it will fall apart. Please watch closely if this is your first time making this bracelet. Now we're ready to begin. We'll use our hook with the hook pointing away from us and this flat side nearest because we use that section to pull the bands back. We put our hook down through the channel of that pin, pull back the cap band, grab this red top red band and we pull it forward to this pin. Next 
we put our hook into the channel, pull that red cap band back, grab the next red rubber band, hold the cap band down with our thumb, and pull that out to the left side. Put our hook into the channel, pull the red cap band back, grab this last red rubber band, and pull it out to the right. Now, we're going to loop the corners of this triangle to the center pin. If you'll notice, we have a red layer, a white layer, and a black layer. We have to pull the red and the white layer back to get to that black band. We pull that up and loop it to the center. We'll do the same on this side. We're pulling that black band to the center. We pull back the red and the white layers, lean our hook forward, grab that black band, and pull it to the center. Now we'll be looping this white band. We're going to put our hook into the channel, pull all the bands back that are above that white band, grab the white band. We'll be leaving that black band down below, we're just looping this white one, to the center pin. Now we'll be looping the corners of the diamond to the center. Again, you have the white layer, the red, and the black. You'll slide your hook down into the channel, pull all those bands back, grab the black, and pull it to the center pin. We'll do this on the right side of the loom, and pull that to the center pin. Refer to the diagram on your screen as we move on. You'll grab this red band, pull it forward. Grab the sides of the diamond, and pull it to the center pin, and here. We'll fast forward along from here until we reach the end of the loom. Now in this last section, we'll pull this white band forward. Can we reach in through the channel? Pull all those bands back, grab the black one, and pull it to the center. Pull all back on the right side, and pull those into the center. Now, we need to push all the bands down on the loom. Now we're ready to start looping the exterior sides of the loom. We use our hook, pull back this red band, grab the white one, and pull it to the forward pin. We use our hook, grab the red band, pull it to the forward pin. There's no bands to pull back, so we can just reach in and grab those bands and pull them forward. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. Now on this last pin, we'll reach in and grab that red band, pull it over, and to the center pin. And we'll start from the beginning of the loom to loop the right side. We pull back the red band, grab the white one with our hook, and pull it to the forward pin. Now from here, there's no bands to pull back. We'll just be reaching in and grabbing those and pulling them to the forward pin. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. And again, at this last pin, we'll just grab the red one and pull it 
to the center pin. And now we've finished looping the bands. It's time to finish our bracelet. So we turn our loom around. You'll see we have a lot of bands on this last pin. We pull all those up, kind of scrunch them up as far as we can to the top of that pin. Then we place our hook through the channel of that pin, slide it out to the side, making sure that we've captured all those bands around our hook. We're going to use a red band to extend this one. Put a red band on the end of our hook and pull it up through that channel. Put the band up on our hook and pull it to the thickest part of our hook. Grab the bands with our fingers and kind of pry it off that first pin and then we can start lifting our bracelet off the loom. Once you've pulled your bracelet off the loom, it measures about 4 inches long. The standard size measurement for a bracelet is 8 inches. To reach that measurement, we would add 6 single chains. If your wrist is smaller than 8 inches, you will need to do fewer bands for your extension. If your wrist is larger, you'll use more. So here we are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You reach at the end of your bracelet, there's that double band there, that was your cap band, and you'll extend that over the end of that single chain, and then you loop the single chain. Then once you're at the end, you'll pull that to the center pin. That makes this area nice and taut. Grab your C-clip with the open side. You'll snap that over the band. Make sure it's on there really well. You pull that off. Pull your hook away from the band. Stick two fingers in there. Pull those apart. And then you'll snap your C-clip over that. You pull that to make sure that's in there really good. And there you have your finished Upsy Daisy Twisty Wissy bracelet.